Yeah, hi. Uh, this is my first uh, weekly market uh, update from C.J. Lawrence. It's been an interesting week, so, you know, uh, I wrote a piece uh, in my blog site called uh, Tariff Tussles. Uh, so, obviously, the, the uh, conflict between the United States and uh, China heated up uh, this week. And uh, there was the big meeting today, which was uh, telegraphed, but there was no clear resolution out of that. So basically the market, it was very dramatic in the Dow and this, the, in the uh, NASDAQ, but um, actually the S&P was down only about 2% for the week. So, uh, you know, that is actually quite pedestrian if you think about, you know, how much the, the uh, S&P had been up already a uh, year to date, around 15% uh, at, at the beginning of May. So, so look, uh, things that we find interesting in this market is there's a lot of people talking about macro, obviously, with the tariff uh, war going on and whether tariffs matter and so forth. So uh, in my uh, blog this week, I basically said, look, uh, fade the macro trade, uh, stop focusing on macro, but focus on companies that have secular growth. So, you know, we, we do that here at C.J. Lawrence uh, every day. Uh, we certainly have a growth bias to our portfolio management here. So uh, some of the things that caught our eye this week was a, an article in the Wall Street Journal today, which was basically on Bank of America. And it was interesting. The title was B of A Ways Ending Payments Venture with first data. So Bank of America is a stock we own in the portfolio and, and what is really intriguing about the American banks is that one, they're taking market share. You know, a lot of the banks around the world are still recovering from, you know, the 2008 crisis. Uh, and uh, so the U.S. banks have been obviously recapitalized uh, after, after the, the, the big, uh, the big uh, recession. Uh, and now are focused on uh, innovation. So one of the th themes we've been talking about is blockchain. And it's very interesting to us that uh, Bank of America has been in the forefront of implementing blockchain technologies. And it's no surprise to me, at least, that um, B of A is actually weighing the, it, its existing relationships with you know, the big outsourcers uh, in the payment side, which is first data is the biggest, uh, First Data uh, years ago was a stock we owned. It was a great uh, growth stock, uh, uh, you know, 10, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, but there are others in that. World World Pay is one of them, and and then there's a few other players. So it's very interesting to us that uh, uh, banks like B of A and J P Morgan are are investing heavily in blockchain technology, and I think that's the way to go. Uh, in this uh, innovation uh, part of the fintech area. So uh, that's our thought for the week. Uh, thank you for listening, and uh, uh, we'll see you next week.